find the range of f of x is equal to cos of step x for minus pi by 2 less than x less than pi by 2. So given here the function f of x is equal to cos of step x and since minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x lies between let me draw the graph of uh, cosine so we can see that So this is the graph of cosine is 0 pi by 2 and this is minus pi by 2 and we need a range of f of x within the interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 where x lies and pi by 2 approximately we can just say that this is 3.14 by 2 this value can be taken as 1.5 approximately and this value can be taken approximately minus 1.5 so between 0 and 1.5 there is 1 and here between 0 and minus 1.5 here is a minus 1 so now let's split the interval for x lies between 0 and 1 0 less than or equals to x less than 1 so step x value is equal to 0 so which implies here f of x is equal to for the interval 0 to 1 f of x is equal to cos of step x which is equal to cos 0 which is equal to 1 means for 0 from 0 to 1 f of x value is only 1 and from 1 less than or equals to x less than pi by 2 your step x value is equal to 1 and hence we can say f of x is equal to cos of step x which is equal to cos 1 and for the value lies between 0 and minus 1 so minus 1 less than or equals to x is less than 0 step of x is equal to minus 1 which implies f of x is equal to which implies f of x is equal to cos of step x which is equal to cos of minus 1 which is equal to cos 1 thus cosine of minus theta is equal to cos theta so this is the value cos 1 and for minus pi by 2 to 1 minus 1 so for minus pi by 2 is less than x is less than minus 1 the step value will be equal to between minus 1 and this 1.5 step value is minus 2 so which implies here f of x is equal to cos of step x which is equal to cos of minus 2 which is equal to cos 2 so from z minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 if I can split this intervals 0 to 1 you are getting 1 from 1 to pi by 2 you are getting cos 1 from minus 1 to 0 you are getting cos 1 from minus pi by 2 to minus 1 we are getting cos 2 and hence we can say the range range of f of x can be taken as the values here cos 1 cos 2 and 1 so we can go with an option b option b is the answer